and my name is Haley. It's summertime! And we're talking about what it means to make waves. Because what you do today can change the world around you. There's lots to do in the summer. Sometimes it can get crazy. And sometimes you just wanna go outside and relax and blow some bubbles. Look at them just floating in the air, not a care in the world. And sometimes if you're really gentle, you can catch one. <laughs> and if you're not, bye-bye bubble. Bye-bye bubble. Fact, the bigger the bubble, the more gentle you have to be. You can't be too crazy or you'll just end up with soap all over the ground. <laughs> but when you slow down, think about what you're doing before you do it and don't lose control, you can make some big bubbles. In today's story, we'll hear about a time when the all-powerful, incredibly strong Son of God chose to be gentle. I'll see you soon. Mmm, <sighs> nice calming waves. Oh, breathe easy, John. Hey, John. I'm making soup. I'm in. All right. Can you grab a pot? Yeah. Hello, everyone. That's Brandon. And that's John. And this is the So and So Show. What an unnecessarily confusing way to begin the show. Oh, I don't know. I thought it was as exactly as confusing as it was supposed to be. Right, what are we doing on the show today, John? Oh, buddy, are you ready? Oh, I'm what? For what? Are you ready to consider a rumble? Yeah, okay. Yeah, because we've got a guest today that's going to knock your socks so far off. They're going to travel around the world and end up on your hands. That's right, your socks are going to become gloves now. Oh, that's quite a guess. It is. Today, we've got a wrestler on the show. He's the Great Lakes International Heavyweight Champion. He's the current reigning Duke of Dubuque. But maybe more important than all that today, he's someone who knows stuff! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> yeah! Come on nice in. to meet you, nice to meet you! <laughs> oh! Hello, sir. Oh. Um, uh, tell everyone who you are yeah. and uh, what you know. Yeah. <sighs> oh, Whoa. Hey. My name is Hayden the Vaporizer, and I'm a professional wrestler. Oh. oh, cool. How'd you get that name? My mom had an uncle named Hayden, and she named me after him. No, I mean, I mean uh, the vaporizer part. Because I vaporize my opponents! All right. Uh, Mr. The Vaporizer, uh, it is a tremendous honor to have you here, and I just, I have so many questions that I want to ask you. So, so first of all, your finishing move is called the Mars Rover. Now, why is that? Because I send people to outer space and leave them there! Oh, <sighs> oh of course. That <laughs> makes total sense. Okay, question number two. Of all your opponents... Who do you think is your number one nemesis? You would have to be the heartthrob. Zack Slater. Ooh. He gets on my last nerve. Okay. Um, stay there, chicken. Third question. What do you like to do when you're not wrestling? Floral arrangement. Oh, oh yeah, I knew it. I knew you'd be floral arrangement. Oh, yeah. Ever since I read Eileen Johnson's breakthrough book, The Art of Floral Arranging, I've been a floral arrangement maniac! Uh -huh. um, you'll forgive us, Hayden, if we're a little surprised. It just doesn't seem like dealing with, with flowers is a good match oh, for why? a guy like you. I, because... Is it because I'm big? Yeah. Strong? Is it because I crush the opposition into the very vapor I breathe for power? Well, yeah, all of those things. You know... 
I spend all day throwing people around in the squared circle. I have to be strong. Mm -hmm. So when I'm on my own time, I like to be gentle. Gentle? You, <laughs> Hayden the Vaporizer, the guy that threw Teddy Rich off at the top of the cage. Yeah, pal. I spend a lot more time thinking about flowers uh -huh. than I do wrestling. In fact, hold on here for a second. Okay. Did you shake his hand? I know. It hurt. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Check it out, brother. Mm. Asiatic lilies, yellow snapdragons, hot pink carnations, and purple statis tastefully arranged in an artesian vase. Oh. I call this Tuscan sunset. Smell it, fellas! Oh. Good stuff, huh? Oh, oh that's great. Huh. It makes me feel calm just smelling it. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Nothing spruces up a place like fresh flowers. Yeah. <laughs> Can we keep this? No! Okay. I'm sending this to Max von Mean. Oh. oh. I'm taking him on next weekend. And you know, you gotta do something nice for someone before you bludgeon them beyond all recognition. Hey Max, if you're watching this now, I'll see you this Sunday at the Sportatorium. And you will be vaporized. <gasps> oh yeah. That's a fresh bouquet. Right. Well, wow. Hayden, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm, I'm, I'm glad we got to see the you on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> glad I could show it off. Yeah. You know, I think strong people can be gentle. Huh? I think strong people should be the most gentle. Mm -hmm. I believe we have a greater responsibility to do so. Wow. Wow. C cool, Mr. The Vaporizer. A deep thoughts from a strong man. You got that right! Oh. Okay. Thank you. Wow. That did not go the way I thought it would go. <laughs> I know. I'm glad it didn't. I yeah. mean, what would we have learned if he was just what we expected him to be? I don't know. He could have taught us how to talk like a wrestler. Well, anyone can do that. Can you? Yeah, of course. It's Bible story time with Kellen! Wow. Can I get some water? Hey, fellas. Hey, Kellen. I hope you've got a killer Bible story for us today. That's right. We're ready to have our worlds rocked. Um, okay. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Today's story comes from the book of Mark. It's a short story that can sometimes be overlooked about people who can sometimes be overlooked. Check out Laundry Theater. As Jesus traveled around teaching and healing, he became more and more popular. Crowds of people followed Jesus to see what he would say and do. People had heard stories of Jesus' power. He could give sight to people who couldn't see. He could make people walk. He was strong enough to calm a storm. People knew Jesus was important. Some people brought their children to see Jesus so that he could bless them. But even though meeting Jesus was important, it wasn't always easy. On one occasion, when parents were bringing their children to see Jesus, they were stopped in their tracks by the disciples. The disciples thought Jesus was too busy. He had people to heal and a message to spread. He didn't have time to deal with kids, right? But wait, Jesus had time after all. He got angry with the disciples for keeping the children away. He said, let the little children come to me. Don't keep them away. God's kingdom belongs to people like them. So the disciples did what Jesus said. They let the little children come. Jesus blessed the children as they came to him. He held them in his arms. Maybe the disciples got in on the fun too. We don't know for sure how long Jesus spent with the children, but we do know that the all-knowing, all-powerful, incredibly strong Son of God took time to be gentle and took time to show the little kids that they were loved. The end. 
Jesus said to his disciples, what I'm about to tell you is true. Anyone who will not receive God's kingdom like a little child will never enter it. That's how important children are to Jesus. He said that even grown-ups should come to God like little children, full of fun and wonder, and with a trust that all their needs would be met. Everyone is valuable to God, no matter how small or how overlooked. Did that rock your world, fellas? It did. Hey, we're learning a lot about gentleness today, Kellen. I love how Jesus took the time to be gentle. Yeah, even though we usually talk about how strong he is. Being strong doesn't mean you can't also be gentle. Sometimes I think it takes strength to be gentle. When you get all angry or you get really passionate about something, your first instinct might be to get all gruff and tough. But if you choose to be gentle, you can calm situations down. You can save relationships. You can make an amazing flower arrangement. Mm -hmm. Sure. Thanks for the story, Kellen. You bet. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Man, what a great show. I agree. Yeah. Reveal! Shh! Did you not listen to the entire show, man? Oh. Just be gentle. Oh, oh yeah, gentle. yeah, you're right. Let me try again. Let me try again. <clears throat> Reveal the question. Today's question is, why is it sometimes hard to be gentle? I think it's hard to be gentle when someone says something that makes me mad or hurts my feelings. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's hard for me when I get impatient. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like when I'm trying to help my dad understand how to use his phone and he just doesn't get it. Yeah, you have to turn the phone around, Dad. This is a video call. No, you don't put it to your ear. I'm looking right down your ear canal, Dad. I can't. Yeah, so uh, gentleness can be hard. So you'll need to rely on God and the Holy Spirit to help you. Yes. After all, it takes strength to be gentle. Yes. Are you okay? Yes, I am good. I'm fine. I'm gentle. I'm Me gentle. too. Ah. <sighs> Until next week, that's John. And I'm not Brandon. <laughs> and this was the So and So <laughs> Show. Stay, Stay gentle, gentle, everyone. everyone. That is fluffy broccoli. Not a lily. What, do you, what would you Those call it? Those are yellow daffodils. Oh, brother. man. Oh, I thought there was a back. Scratcher. But I'm doing. Oh! Ooh, easy, done, easy, easy. Done. If you break this, I will break you. No! Oh. I'm gonna put this one in later. Yeah! Like that. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Don't ever do that to a flower, bro. I'm the king of floral arrangements. Yeah! What did you say? Uh -oh. I said vaporizer is the king of floral arrangements. Yeah, that's right, Phyllis. Now you're catching on. <laughs> I think we can all agree that Jesus is strong, right? He healed the sick. He stopped a thunderstorm. He brought people back from the dead. And yet, Jesus took time to care for little kids. That takes gentleness. Gentleness is something we all need from time to time. Don't get me wrong, there's there's a time for crazy. What? Then there are times when you need to be gentle, like when you're around babies or little kids, or when you're around someone who's sick or even someone who's really sad. Being gentle means taking the time to think about someone else's needs. It's slowing down, thinking about what you're doing before you do it and not losing control. It's kind of strange, but it actually takes strength to be gentle. Uh, like when you're super excited, woo! Oh, or when you're angry or frustrated. Uh, you have to be strong to really get yourself under control. And then you can make a big difference in the world. And if you don't think you've got enough strength to be gentle, Check this out. When you put your trust in Jesus, God gives you the Holy Spirit to help. So listen closely. Here's the one thing to remember today. God can give you strength to be gentle. See, you don't have to go crazy to make waves, but it's still fun sometimes. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah!